Thank you in joining me in this demonstration showing how in Focus Connect, ESCO Automation Engine, and our Share and Approve cloud-based approval can all work together seamlessly. The brand owner using in Focus Connect can create these connectors whereby anyone from a designer to a customer service representative can provide PDF files which are created using the brand owner's standard. Not only creating these files, but also pre-flighting and delivering them to the brand owner. Let's have a closer look. The InFocus Connect connector can be created starting from different predetermined settings. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Check Job Essentials. Here, we can define job ticket options, where we can determine the different metadata fields for page size, colors, inks, and document bleed. In the PDF creation settings, we are going to require a PDF X4 and ask the system to automatically generate crop marks and one eighth of an inch of bleed. During the pre-flight stage, we want to apply some action lists. Notice these action lists can automate quite a number of actions. Actions relating to page size, color, for example, convert spot colors to CMYK, or generate a rich black. Packaging specific actions, prepress actions, and additional pre-flight steps. Here, we can see that the action lists can also interact on images. So quite some functionality that we can automate. During the PDF creation, we are also going to apply color management. And finally, in the connector, we will specify how the supplier will automatically push that PDF file to the brand owner. Here, we're going to use email, but notice we can choose from a variety of delivery points. We can also set up a secondary delivery point. Once we, as brand owner, specify all these parameters, we can create our connector which we can now email to our prepress suppliers. They will be using this connector when they are generating the PDF files. So here we are at our supplier. Our supplier has just finished a design for us and they are ready to submit this to us as the brand owner using the plugin export to connector, they can now pick the profile that we created. A few parameters are mandatory, such as the width, the height of this label, as well as some color related options. Before submitting this PDF to us, they will have an automated pre-flight report that is generated, which they can consult before continuing with the connector actions. Here, using Acrobat Pro, the supplier 
can look at all the warnings and fixes that were applied before this file was even sent to us. After they inspect this report and make the necessary changes, they can hit the send button, which will now send this PDF file to our brand owner. The brand owner, using Automation Engine, will now automatically process these files in the background. Notice that the Automation Engine has an access point in this case, the email address, which is looking at incoming emails from that specific supplier. Notice, as the file arrives, Automation Engine will automatically move it to a specific folder using a smart name. Rename it to File, Date and Time and start a workflow. Let's have a quick look at how the smart name is constructed. Date and time after the extension will extract the two parts that will identify the year, date, and month followed by a timestamp using a regular expression. Once the automation engine notices this incoming email, it will extract the PDF file that was generated using that connector. Any type of action can now automatically be applied using this workflow. And here we can see that the brand owner is applying a normalization and some further optimizations before they finally generate a printed sample. But before we can get to that printed sample, we are going to require an approval. Notice that we can add some additional pre-flight checks using our automation engine workflow. Do a visual inspection using this viewer. And finally, move this file along to the upload files to share and approve. This can be configured ahead of time, which will automatically notify via email that a file is waiting for approval. Notice here that the workflow also automatically created a report, which can be used to verify all the parameters surrounding this label. Without further ado, let's look at the share and approve. A notification has arrived in my mailbox. I can simply click this link, view the file in the cloud, inspect it using this HTML5 viewer, looking at separations, measuring densitometer, color measurements, barcode, measurements, select text, check font size and detect fonts. Once I approve this label, the workflow will automatically continue. Notice in this share and approve that again we have this smart name driven job folder which will indicate the date and time when that file came in to my system for approval. Notice also here that we can set up this approval in a more manual fashion, where here we can see the different stages. Inside this folder, we created a for approval folder which has this approved PDF file.
Once this file approved, the file will now automatically continue in the workflow with a proofing action, for example, a step and repeat, or the system can furthermore generate rasterized files, as you can see here again, using this built-in viewer. Thank you for watching. Find out more at www.esco.com.